Hi, welcome to the third video in our series exploring Mirroring 360 by Splashtop. And in this video, what we'll be covering is making your first connection from your device to your Mac or PC. So the first thing that we need to do is start mirroring assist mode on our PC. And there's a couple of ways of doing that. The first is going to the system tray on the right and right, uh, right clicking on the mirroring 360 icon and choosing mirroring assist. And that will go ahead and display the QR code and the mirroring ID. The other way of doing that is going directly to the um, mirroring 360 agent window and clicking on the mirroring assist button and that will do the same job for you. So now let's go ahead and start the mirroring 360 app on our devices. So first up is our iPad and before we explore mirroring assist just a note to iPad users you can go ahead and try using the AirPlay capability that's built into um, your iPad. And uh, if you know that your network isn't being blocked in any way, then it might be worth just exploring how to just go ahead and connect to your Mac and PC. And here you'll see how that works. So go ahead and try that. You may not need to load the Mirroring Assist app, but uh, if you do, then let's take a quick look at Mirroring Assist. So once you open the app, there's a number of sections there that are useful, how to share my iPad iPhone screen to a computer. This will explore just different ways in which you can do that, maybe with cables. Uh, the troubleshooting section is also useful in case you do hit any issues. Um, so I'd certainly go ahead and just uh, open the app and just explore those resources. What we're going to do um, from this point on is really explore the mirroring assist functionality and how you make that connection wirelessly. So go ahead and uh, click on the red box there at the bottom, connect with mirroring assist. And the first way we'll do that is by scanning the QR code. You're going to point the camera up to the screen of your computer and it will go ahead and scan that QR code there in the center of the screen. The other way of doing it is by entering in that nine digit ID. And once you click on that option, then you'll be entering the nine digit ID into the field displayed there on the screen. The final way of connecting using mirroring assist is if you've already made a connection to a computer, then um, previous connections are actually stored here in the, uh, in the menu. And so you can go ahead and select a previous computer as well. So that's mirroring assist for iOS users. Now let's turn our attention to Chromebook users, Mac and PC users. And if you remember, you would have downloaded the Mirroring 360 extension from the Chrome Web Store, and it would have installed itself there on the, alongside the address bar. So once you click on that, uh, this menu appears. And as you can see, it's somewhat familiar. You've got a favorites area there. You've got the place where you can enter your mirroring ID. And you've got also at the bottom there, uh, the number of um, computers uh, that have been auto discovered that may be sitting waiting for a connection. And so let's now turn our attention to Android users. If you remember, you would have downloaded the Mirroring 360 sender from the Google Play Store onto your Android 5.0 and above device. It doesn't work uh, if you have a previous version of Android. And once the app opened and you click on the icon in the bottom right there, you will have this menu displayed. It uh, should be familiar to you now. You have an option to enter in your nine digit mirroring ID as well as scan the QR code. And so now all four devices are connected. I have on the top left an iPad being shown, on the top right a Chromebook, bottom left my Android device, and in the bottom right my Mac. And that could, of course, as well be a PC. In fact, all of these could be the same devices or they could be different, just like you see here. So why not try Mirroring 360 for yourself with a free trial? Go ahead and visit our website, mirroring360.com. And if you're a teacher in a classroom, then we've also set up a special website for you, education.splashtop.com, that will explore Mirroring 360, as well as other options in the Splashtop education product family. Next up in our video series, Exploring Mirroring 360, is looking at some of the specific configuration options that are available before a connection, as well as during a connection, and also just touching on Splashtop Classroom. 